Now with more insight on these findings, Washington Post correspondent Philip Bum. Philip, thanks for being with us. We know that uh, you and uh, your colleague uh, there, Heather Long, both wrote extensively on this, talking about um, it's sort of a, uh, a reassessment. More Americans are deciding to leave their job voluntarily. Tell us uh, more about that whole concept. That's exactly right. So Heather actually was on this trend back in April. She started to write about the fact that uh, Americans had used the pandemic time to sort of reassess, you know, that people sort of forced out of their jobs for a while. And a lot of people took that opportunity to say, hey, do I actually want to go back to the same employment that I had? Now, obviously, there are a lot of people who did not have the luxury of saying no to that. There are a lot of people who are still out of work. Uh, we still are seeing unemployment rates that are higher than before the pandemic, obviously. And we are also still seeing a lot of people, almost 10 million people who are are out of work. Uh, but one of the things that we are seeing that reflects that trend that Heather had written about is the fact that the number of people who are out of work voluntarily is nearly 1 million at this point. Almost 1 in 10 of those who are unemployed are people who have chosen to be unemployed, who have said, I'm going to go and do something else potentially. They're still in the labor market, still looking for work, but have chosen to be there. And that's actually a good sign because it means that there's some optimism that people feel like they can find another job. So what is uh, motivating this great reassessment? Uh, is it, you know, the psychological effects of the pandemic? Is it wages? Yeah, I mean, I, I think there are probably a variety of reasons. I think there certainly is some psychology to it. And, you know, I mean, it's, you know, we don't want to paint with too broad a brush here because there, there are a lot of people. But, there, you know, again, there are still a lot of people who are out of work and looking for jobs. Uh, but it's also the case that there may be people who are saying, hey, look, the labor market is starting to get pretty good. And so there may be better opportunities for me. Uh, we, One of the things that we see in the most recent job report is that over the course of the, just the past month alone in the food and in the leisure and hospitality industry, which is bars, restaurants, things along those lines, wages, weekly earnings have actually increased by 2% just in the last month. That's a big jump. And it's a jump that if, off the top of my head, I think 14% essentially since the beginning of the pandemic. That's a big increase in wages. If you are someone who works in that industry, you may be saying, hey, there's a lot of opportunity for me out there that isn't just what I'm doing now. There's been so much debate and Americans disagree a lot on, you know, how much the um, the stimulus payments have really uh, kind of figured into this. Certainly Congress has debated it. Um, how do you uh, how do you kind of blend that all into this argument? No, it's a great question. There's a lot of evidence that can be looked at one way or the other. And, and you know, quite frankly, I think it, you know, the, the, the economy is so big and so complicated, obviously, that I think there probably are some, some multiple factors that are at play here. But the fact that we are seeing this increase in particular right now, as those payments are known to be expiring, I think is indicative of the fact that this is about something else. This isn't people who are leaving their jobs because they want to get, uh, you know, some sort of unemployment insurance or something along those lines, just because that's not the state of the, the pandemic that we're in. That's not where we are right now. And of course, at the same time, we are actually seeing that there are some real better opportunities that are out there. Uh, but to be clear, Philip, the number of people who are leaving voluntarily still uh, relatively small when right. compared to uh, the, the number of people who are still looking for work unemployed. Yeah, it's very important to remember. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of people who are looking for work and unable to find it. And that is something that obviously we, we're hoping gets remedied very quickly. What we're doing is we're looking at a smaller underlying trend, which does suggest a level of optimism that we certainly didn't see, for example, a year ago. All right. Thanks for the conversation. Philip Bump at The Washington Post. Take care. Of course. Thank you.